over here I've made another uh, chart here. So here's a routing protocol, RIP, RIP version 2, OSPF, and EIGERP. And then I've also put in here uh, static routes and uh, connected routes. So if you've put in a static route, and uh, the reason I've done that is to explain administrative distance or AD. All right. Um, first of all, RIP has an AD of 120, RIP version 2 also 120, OSPF 110, EIGERP 90. A static route that's manually configured on the router will have a administrative distance of one and then a connected route will have an administrative distance of zero okay and what is uh, administrative distance administrative distance uh, measures the trustworthiness of a route okay so how trustworthy a route is so let's say a uh, a router is running more than one routing protocol or has more than one route more than one routes to a um, destination network it will choose the most trustworthy route so in this case the best route would be the connected route the best route would be hey it's this network is directly connected on my interface so it's ranked zero which that's the route that you're gonna take right static route has a ranking of one if it's been manually configured then it's deemed very trustworthy because an administrator uh, you know configured it um, EIGERP has a better uh, administrative distance than OSPF and OSPF has a better administrative distance than RIP so if you had more than one route uh, in your routing table if you had a RIP route of 120 and a OSPF of 110 then the um, router would choose the 110 now this chart of um, administrative distances is based on the Cisco administrative distances I believe so it's no wonder that EI group is 90 because it's Cisco pr uh, protocol all right so administrative distance and metric okay the metric is um, the distance to a given network the administrative distance is the trustworthiness right the ranking let's say and then the metric is uh, the actual distance measured so for rip and rip version 2 it's hop count and hop count is how many routers do you have to cross to get to a network right is it two routers away one router away three routers away that would be three hops away okay OSPF uses a metric of cost and cost is based on a number of factors the most important factor being bandwidth and then EIGERP um, its metric is bandwidth load delay reliability and also uh, MTU and some other things but the most important factor in EIGERP's metric is bandwidth so um, in other words uh, how far away something is going to be a ranking number based on bandwidth load delay and reliability the most important thing being bandwidth so um, cost and bandwidth for EI group and OSPF is generally considered a much more advanced metric than just simply hop count a, a rip router will um, will take the shortest path based on um, numbers of routers to get there but it doesn't matter how fast the links are in other words if they were um, dial-up links running at 56k it's gonna take uh, you know two dial-up links to get there versus three T1 lines to get there so OSPF so as a metric uh, cost and EI groups bandwidth uh, much more advanced um, periodic updates RIP, yes. It broadcasts its routing table uh, using a IP broadcast address every 30 seconds. RIP version 2, yes. It does periodic updates. It um, sends out its entire routing table, but it multicasts it on a 224.0.0.9 address. OSPF and EIGRP do not send out periodic updates. They send out um, triggered updates and partial updates. Okay, so you can see here that RIP version 2 and RIP do not send out partial updates they send out their full routing table um, and triggered updates rip and rip version 2 does send out triggered updates if a network goes down it will send it out then another important aspect of this is VLSM variable length subnet mask or classless uh, interdomain routing um, rip cannot send a subnet mask with its um, out with its routing table so it's not able to do classless routing it has to do classful routing only so you cannot do um, subnets um, that are non-classful but with RIP version 2 and OSPF and EIGERP subnet mask is included 
in the routing protocol you can configure the routes with a subnet mask so it's able to do classless interdomain routing and variable length subnet masks so you can do uh, fancy subnets with RIP version 2 OSPF and EIGER. Uh, algorithms that um, that they use uh, with RIP, RIP uses the Bellman Ford algorithm. RIP version 2 also uses the Bellman Ford algorithm. Um, OSPF uses the uh, Dystra algorithm or shortest path first algorithm for OSPF and EIGERP uses the um, diffused update algorithm or also called dual algorithm.